How's it going, everyone? Today we're going to be talking about some more toys that I have. Um, be starting off with uh, these Transformers, these vintage Transformers that I have. Some more vintage Transformers, I guess I should say, since I think we already went over some that I had. This one is called uh, Fire Chief. And he actually opens up and he's got a little guy in there. I'm not sure what his name is. Kind of cool though. Just sits in there with the driver. Um, yeah, I don't know if the guy's name is Fire Chief. I thought that this was called Fire Chief. I'm not sure what that little guy in there is called. But anyways, there's Fire Chief. Um, not gonna transform it for you guys because I don't want to break it and I don't know how it transforms. So there you go. Anyways, this next one, and that was a G1. That was from, I don't know, I think this is from 1980-something. This one is uh, Astro Train. Um, I don't know, it's like a mixture of a train and a uh, rocket ship. It's weird. It's got like a rocket ship look to it, but then it also has like this train stuff on it the sides it's weird you see it has like these train wheels kind of it's kind of strange not sure what the deal with this one was but there you go there's the astro train i think this was a decepticon i have no idea how it changes this is uh from 85 takara hasbro so there's that one This one is from 1980, 1984, it says, Takara Hasbro. This one is uh, Mixmaster. Naturally, it's like stuck there. There you go. There's Mixmaster. It's a cement truck. Pretty cool, though. Yeah, I don't know how he transforms. Something like that, though. Anyways. I was never good at transforming these things. I was probably better at breaking them. Um, this next one is a ambulance. It's a Protectobot. Um, yeah. Don't know. There's his head, and then, you know, transforms from there. But, yep, that's kind of cool. Protectobot. This is some time in the 80s as well. This is from the 80s as well. These are all vintage. This one, I'm not sure what it's called. I tried to find it. I'm not sure. It's from Takara Hasbro, 1980 to... 1984. Weird one about this one is it's made in Taiwan, it says, instead of Japan like the other ones. But, yeah, I have no idea what this one is called at all. Um, it does, like, open up. I found that out like that. And then, you know. This one is older, though. The stickers are coming off. But there's Protectobot. Oh, not Protectobot. I don't know why I said Protectobot. That was the last one. This one, I have no idea what he's called. I cannot figure it out. Anybody knows? I guess let me know in the comments. Um, this one is another Transformer G1, 1980 to 1983, Takara Hasbro, Japan. Um, it's missing the wings, obviously, as you can see. This one is Ramjet. But, yeah, it's seen better days. But this is, like, all metal right here, almost. There's, like, very little plastic on it, to be honest. It's almost all metal, it feels like. Like, these are all metal right here. It's kind of interesting. This one was a lot more metal. But, 
There you go. Ramjet. Not sure. There's his head, actually. But I'll probably end up breaking it if I... But his head's right there. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I can't. I can't figure out how it's supposed to come open. Oh, there it goes. But his head didn't come out, though. Yeah, I don't know. His head did not come out, though. Shoot, I don't know. Whatever. That's Ramjet. Um, this one is technically uh, newer. I think it's from, like, 1998 or, like, 1999, somewhere around there. Let's see. It actually says it right here. Yeah, 1999 Takara. Um, this one is technically Beast Wars Neo, apparently. Sorry, give me a second to put this back together. I can't, I can't get it. Anyways, this one's Beast Wars Neo. His name is, uh, Heinrad. It's like a... Uh, raccoon, I think. He's got like a clock in the middle of him, and the clock does work. You can see it ticking. I put uh, new batteries in it. But yeah, there's Heinrad. I have no idea what he turns into. Oh, uh, he turns into something else because it's like a uh, it's an animal that turns into a robot. Is what it is. You can see he's got like robotic head right there. Or something. And then he's got the robotic legs. So. But if I take him apart. I'm not going to be able to put him back together. I could already tell you that much right now. I'm terrible at these things. But that's Heinrad. And he's a raccoon that turns into a robot. Because he was Beast Wars. Beast Wars Neo, to be specific. But they were like animals that turned into robots as opposed to like, I guess like whatever, cars and vehicles and stuff like that. So, yeah, there you go. He's pretty cool. He's really big, like fat. Like, look how fat he is. <laughs> I guess they had to make him so fat because like, got a clock right in the middle of him which I don't under I mean I don't know anything about the TV show maybe he was like a time traveler I don't understand why he needed a clock in the middle of him I don't know but there you go Heinrad and this next one is technically not a uh, transformer although it looks like a transformer it's technically a GoBot from like same time period as the G1s like 1980s or whatever um, this one is called Stax. It's a, whatever, uh, whatever, 18 wheeler or whatever you want to call it, but only the front part, um, tractor trailer, whatever you call them. People have got all kinds of different names for them, so, but there you go, Stax. It's not even going to attempt to take that one apart. And then, um, these are actually Power Rangers from 19... 95 Bandai. This is um, Megazord. So there you go, Megazord. 1995 Bandai. I consider that to be vintage now. Um, this is actually a little bit newer, but it still represents the older series. This is uh, Goldar. I think this is from early 2000s, I want to say. But yeah. There would be like a little miniature guy that would sit on the back of there. And then, I don't know, you would turn that and it would do that. So, yeah, I don't know. My daughter loves the Power Rangers, though, so she loves this little guy now. And she'll probably never let me get rid of it. And she's also fallen in love with this little guy, which is from totally different series but i'm sure they i don't I never even watched this series this is the dino uh rangers i believe 
the red one. I don't know. I never watched it, so. But, yeah. There you go. And then, this guy, which I believe is another Transformer type deal. This is 95 Bandai. I don't know. Maybe it's not a Transformer. Maybe it's uh, another type of Power Rangers thing. But I really have no idea what the heck this is. And I can't even figure out how the head comes out. His head's supposed to come out. His arms move. But he's got these things that look like buttons, but they don't work. So I don't know. His head's supposed to pop out. And his legs are supposed to come down. But I don't know how he works. So, anybody out there in Toyland knows, you let me know. Alright? And we'll, I'll figure that one out later. Because I have no idea. So now we're just kind of getting into the random toys. This is the Incredible Hulk from, I don't know, I want to say like the early 90s. Because he is pretty unusual. He's got this, like, fabric um, shirt. I don't know. I feel like that's pretty unusual these days. I've never seen this one. His face is really strange. Like, model off of the old Hulk, Hulk, you know? So. And while we're talking about Hulks, I have this random thing. It's the Hulk Hogan... Hollywood Hogan motorcycle. Yeah, I have no idea. I found this in the trash, actually. But it was, like, perfect shape, so... I just found it outside, you know, in somebody's trash pile they were throwing away, so I saved it. But kind of cool, actually. I've never... I don't remember... I remember Hulk Hogan being Hollywood Hogan, but I don't remember this uh, motorcycle at all from him riding it or anything. Supposed to make noise, but you know, batteries are dead and all that, so but now my Hulk can ride the Hulk Hogan motorcycle, anyways. Moving on, um, this is the human flame from Fantastic Four. I think that's Marvel. So I don't know. Pretty sure it's Marvel. I don't know. But yeah, for some reason he can do the human splits as well. Not sure why. But he can. He's very flexible and posable. I'm not sure why they made him so posable, but they did. It's kind of cool actually. And even his feet can move, like they like did a really good job on this guy, like I don't know. They went to, like, some lengths to, like, make this guy extremely posable. And he's got some great color on him. I mean, he's, like, translucent orange. That's really cool. I don't know. They did a good guy job on that guy, though. It's pretty cool. Um, Next up, and I have no idea what this guy's name is at all. He's from the Ghostbusters. He's one of those Ghostbusters. Um can't remember his name but his mouth like opens like really long so show you how scared he is like he scares at the ghost like ah! and his head turns too it can go like all the way around and like get really high but this guy is also from the Ghostbusters I have no idea I don't think he was actually from the movie I think he's just like some type of toy probably from the TV show and yeah, his, he's got a little button on the back and he pops open and his skeleton comes out. I don't know, dude. I have no idea. Pretty sure this was Ghostbusters, though. And then this guy, he's over here. He's scared to death of this guy because he's like, just became a skeleton cop. So he's like, ah, scary skeleton cop guy. And yeah, that's that's about that. I don't know. Pretty sure he's from. Pretty sure this guy is from 
Ghostbusters, and I'm positive this guy is Ghostbusters because he's got the Ghostbusters symbol on him. And he says 1987 Columbia Pictures on him, so. Oh, this one says 1988 Columbia Pictures, so yeah, they're definitely related. They're related, y'all. Anyways, this one took me forever to figure it out, what this is from. Very unique and obscure. This is from those movies, uh, The Mummy. And, like, The Mummy Returns with, like, Brendan Fraser. This is Emotep from those movies. Apparently, they had toys, which I do not remember at all. And I've never, ever seen another, uh mummy toy ever in my life so i don't know it's just really unusual to me because i've seen a lot of toys and a lot of different toys but i've never seen a mummy toy i even have some uh unusual toys like if you ever saw that movie water world i have some water world toys which at some point i'll probably show you guys but it's just unusual to me because I, like i said i've seen water world toys which are really unusual like I don't know many people have ever seen those before because they weren't very popular. So it's just weird to me like that I've never seen that before and that they even had these things. I mean, I honestly loved this movie when I was a kid, the Mummy movie. It was probably one of my favorite movies when I was a kid and still like I can watch it to this day and just like I love it. So I don't know. Anyways, this is an old toy. Uh, pretty old i don't know maybe 50s or something it's by or 60s it's by marks um it's johnny west uh, i don't know a whole lot about him at all i guess he was probably a tv show or something um but yeah he's pretty well made he's got springs in there which i just noticed i didn't even know that but yeah he like he's springy he's got springs inside I don't know, like, really well-made toy, like, so old, and yet, like, way ahead of their time, it would seem. Even his hand, like, moves. Do you see that? It's, like, and it's got joints. I don't know. Even toys these days are not made, like, that well. But, yeah, pretty cool. Johnny West, he's really tall. And then this guy is probably even taller. Yep, he is. And this guy is pretty well made too. Unfortunately, he does not have his clothes. This is, can you guess? It's the Six Million Dollar Man! Made by General Mills. I have no idea what that button does. I've never figured that out. But well, you can look through his eye, and then I can see the camera. Anyway, it's just really cool. Um, Six Million Dollar Man. There was like a TV show, I don't know, when, 60s or the 70s. I never saw it. I'm not like an expert on those types of things. I'm more of an 80s guy, I guess. But when I see an old toy that's like a dollar, you kind of have to buy it. So it is what it is. And I really do think he's cool because you can actually look through his eye and you can like see through it. So honestly, honestly, really like that aspect of it. I thought that was really cool about a toy that you can like, I don't know, that they made it that interactive. You can look through his head and like see what he says. I don't know. There's just something about that. That's kind of neat. And then next up we have um, Evil Can Evil. I don't know if you can see that. He's in this, like, collectible bag thingy. But, yeah. Evil Knievel. The stunt man who used to do, like, motorcycle or dirt bike uh, stunts. He would, like, jump over, like, tons of cars and stuff like that. And I think he broke, like, a ton of bones in his body, like, several times. But there you go. Evil Knievel. They made, like, this toy... He had, like, a stunt bike and stuff like that, and it would rev up. It was pretty cool. Um, here's another one. Another random toy. Uh, gosh, what is this? Masters of the Universe, I believe, or something. Um, totally saying I'm actually wrong about that. That is not that. 
This is Thundercats, I believe, actually. I think this is Lionel from Thundercats. Because I think he, uh, Masters of the Universe would be He-Man. So this, I believe, is Thundercats, and this is He-Man. I think so. This is uh, from Terminator. This is the T1 robot. Anyways, big fan of Terminator, actually. I love the second one. It's like my favorite one. This is from 1991. Um, yeah. Uh, second one is like one of my favorite movies. Love that movie. Terminator 2. T1 Robot. This is like, uh, I think, what uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was. And then with his skin ripped off, I believe. That would be him. And then I have some more stupid ones, but to be honest, I don't even know what these ones are. Because they have no clothes on them, and I didn't do my due diligence and, like, look them up. But they're Mego. I'm sure somebody out there knows what they are. This one's missing his legs. He's a, uh, amputee, unfortunately. It's very sad. Um, yeah. He's a paraplegic. Not trying to make fun of that, but just saying. He's missing his legs. This one, he's okay. Except for he's a nudist. Um, yeah, don't look at him. Don't know. They're both Migos, not sure. Um, I think this is Mad Max, but not sure again. Not 100% on that one. Never really seen any Mad Max toys before. So, don't know. I don't know. He's pretty small. He's like a little uh, G.I. Joe guy, but doesn't look like a G.I. Joe because he's just in a different shape. And this guy is pretty unusual, too. I believe this is... Um, you know what? And I was going to say this is Magneto because of the helmet, but I don't think it's Magneto at all. No idea who this guy is. He's got a gun on the side of him. So I don't think that's Magneto. Because I'm not sure why Magneto would be needing to carry a gun. So this is obviously something else. But he looks like Magneto. But not Magneto. Because he has a gun. Anyways. I think that's going to wrap it up. That's all. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and... Any questions, all that stuff, you know. And then on the next video, I actually have a surprise for you guys. I bought, I got, finally got around to finding some unopened packages for us to open up. Um, this one is from, I think, 1994. It is Generation Extreme Sports Trading Cards, 1994 unopened. So we'll be trying to, we'll be doing that at some point, opening that up for you guys. Um, also got the Rocketeer trading cards, which I did not know they made. I loved this movie when I was a kid. Loved it, okay? Um, big baseball cards, seven picture cards from 1988. So these cards are from 1988, never been opened. So, doing my math correctly, that's like, what, 22 years or something like that? These are from 1990. Oh, no, I didn't do my math correctly. I think that's like 32 years. I don't know, dude. I'm bad at math. Anyways, I think that's like 30 years, yo. Because it's 2020, right? And this is 1990. So these haven't been opened in 30 years. It's probably worth more for me just to keep them closed. But I'm going to open them for y'all. And then these are G.I. Joe cards from 1991. Anyways, we'll be opening all of these in the future. I have five unopened packages of random cards to open. And they're all like 20 plus years old. So there you go. 
At least I think. I don't know. I guess those ones that are from like 1994 are. But anyways, yep. We'll do that in the future. See y'all next time.